huge competition. Amazing stuff. We have question mark points versus infinity points. Who takes it in that case? I would love to be on season two, Love I Trust. There's no way of knowing. Do we want to? Is there, we should unplug it. There we go. We'll make sure that we have we'll, we'll refund those by hand. Yeah. Remind me to do it when I'm driving on the phone. So yeah, we'll do that personally. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want my head's blocking the shot here. <coughs> you too. Josie, you displayed strength. I do think you're a strong person. And uh, I'm sure I'm sure you have bright things ahead of you after this. And Letty, um, I actually don't hate you. I think you're resilient. I think you kind of have boy brain going on. It's so Im impressive at times. <clears throat> um, and uh, you, I think you probably honestly won this whole competition. Um, so. That being said, uh, Josie, the entire fucking time that we did this, your fans, Josie Cells, were rigging every single competition in your favor. Anything that had to be, had somewhat of a subjective bias to it. Josie, we had to turn in for Josie Cells right now. There's a poll. Get in there. Vote for Josie. Okay? That's a great way to win a competition. Uh, it's also a great way to ruin a competition and not make it competitive. So there's that. It could also be said that we could just get some slut from Target stocking shelves to come up here and act spaced out and have desperate, horny, dangerous men voting for her, and she'd probably win the presidency of the United States. So we'll do that season two, which is definitely happening. Letty... I actually don't hate you. I think you probably, I mean, you definitely won this whole thing, but uh, <clears throat> your fans, well, lower in number, are even more whacked out, and um, that disturbs me. And they definitely were doing everything they could to not only sway the contest in your favor, but fuck up the whole show, including sending production members death threats, shit like that. Yeah, they, well, they, they do love you. It's pretty funny. It is kind of funny, actually. And I'm not even going to cancel you for that. I'm not even going to cancel for you. That. Actually, you know, I'm going to frame you in Fish Tank Hall of Fame. But here's the thing. You smoked weed. And the first poster that Jet made in the kitchen is no phones, no weed. So... You lost. And this is not a joke right now. I'm not fucking with you. You actually lost. Yeah. Um, the... Josie, do you know who Sam Hyde is? I do know. Okay. Do you know I'm a mastermind troll? Is that why you signed up for my game show? And didn't read the contract? Whoopsie. The contract is stapled in the lower right corner. Wouldn't that throw you off right away? Dude. Read this underlined part for me, okay? If you can. There is no guarantee that participant will receive any compensation. Well, do it louder. Start over louder. <clears throat> there is no guarantee that the participant will receive any compensation during their time as a participant in the fish tank. Ah! <laughs> Death penalty. Oh no. Ah! Oh no. Oops, we got scammed. That is the same. A little tiny bit. <laughs> What's that say? Confidentiality and life story rights. So, not only can you not talk about what happened here, because our legal lawyer, we're spending fucking the most part of the whole budget on our lawyer, but when we go to do your life story, all the Josie Cells and Letty Chuds, they're going to be watching the My Little Pony derived anime of your life story produced by Comrade Heat Entertainment. <laughs> so that's it. 
You're both nice people. I don't actually dislike you. I fucking hate you. I hate you. Okay? Because here's the thing. All the production hiccups that we talked about, the show almost getting shut down, half that shit was from you. Fuck. Half that shit was from you. Trying to shut that. You, you watch the show, but you're trying to get it shut down. Looks like you got what you wanted. You got what you wanted. You finally got it. The show's shut down. Oops. Right before the final contest. Big whoopsie. And the streaming thing, this is not even a thing. If you watch streaming, because I care about my fans. I care about my fans. If you think streaming is a good thing to watch, my man, you're watching people pick up pieces of shit and turns off a floor for six weeks, losing sleep, you're in a hospital bed, fish tank saved my life, I'm in the hospital, fuck you! You can't, you serious? You're watching people pick their nose for six weeks? You fucking idiots! There's an entire universe of Good literature, movies, music for you to enjoy, but you're watching people smearing fucking chocolate ice cream on the wall and, and say it's the best thing ever. It makes me fucking sick. The Twitter thing, it makes me sick. All the Twitter posts saying how great the show is. Uh, you guys are fucking retarded, and you need to hear that for your own good. And I'm not joking. The streaming's done. That's over. Okay, we've moved on. We're doing big time shit now. World Peace 2 is happening. And the stuff that I am making in World Peace 2 is the old school MDE. Bringing back the old school MDE. The real culture, the real shit is happening right now. And I missed a huge shot today. That's not bullshit. I missed a huge shot today to be here for the finale. You gotta be here for the fish tank finale, Mr. Gold Striker. <laughs> My God. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Uh, Vance Pill, Vance Madison. Let's go! Nah, MDE never dies.